Next, we are going to see catalytic property of transition element. Most of the transition elements are D back elements are can be recognized here. Very good. Catalyst. We know the catalyst is nothing but the substance which are to allow the rate of the reaction, but that but does not take part in the chemical reaction. So reaction le or reaction le rate matter me allot ponno. What the rate is nothing but speed of the reaction. Either increase or decrease. But does not take part in the reaction. So that's why we are giving here. So A react with B in the presence of catalyst. It has gives the product will be a D is there. So what is the mechanism? First they react in A. It has react with the catalyst C. It has gives a one intermediate complex. This intermediate compound further react with the B. It gives a D as a product is there. So likewise the substance which are to allow the rate of the reaction. But does not take part in the chemical reaction. Such a substance is called as a catalyst. Here, most of the transition elements are can be act as a very good catalysts. So the only one reason is there. What are the reasons? The available d orbital that can accept the electron from the reactant molecule are the transition metals that can form bond with the reactant molecule using in using it d orbitals. So transition elements layer kare the available d orbitals in the bond naka electrons hai reactant molecule the easy avoid it just to form the bond. So that's why the catalysis the transition elements are it can be act as a very good catalysis. So here we give the some examples. So very very important. So the first one hydro formalization of olefins. Here we take the reactant molecules nothing but one two three is there. There are three carbon it possess double bond. So this is called as a propene. The propene hydro formalization nothing but formal means CO. So hydro means H2. So it has reacted so the propene it has reacted the CO carbonyl compound and hydrogen molecule in the presence of what the catalyst you are using cobalt capital C small o. Here we are mentioning capital C capital O is carbonyl. Here the capital C small is called as here cobalt. It contains the eight times of carbonyl. So this is called as octa carbonyl cobalt. Octa carbonyl te cobalt. It has gives the two types of product. So both are aldehyde. So okay, one, two, three, four. There are four carbonyls here. So this is called as here but. So it possesses one aldehyde. So butanal. So one butanal or butan one al. So next one, two, three. There are three chain carbonyls called as here propen. Okay, the propen in the second position aldehyde is here. So this is called as here propen two al is there. So this is the first example. So next example, the preparation of acetic acid from the acetaldehyde. So the acetaldehyde it has to react with the carbonyl in the process of rhodium and iridium complex. Rhodium and iridium complex it has gives a acid acetic acid as a product. So finally, very important topic that is called as Ziegler Nata catalyst. Ziegler Nata catalyst is there. So it's one of the polymerization product here. You take the monomer is nothing but a propene. Propene in the process of tetrachloro titanium or triethyl aluminium plus triethyl aluminium it gives a polymer it gives a polymer so this is called as a zigloneta catalyst in the hydro polymerization we have to use the octa carbonyl cobalt is a catalyst so in the preparation of stickers we are using rhodium medium complex in a zigloneta catalyst nothing but a mixture of tetrachloro titanium and triethyl aluminium so that's all about the catalytic property of the transition elements or metals. Catalytic property. Transition metals are well known for its catalytic property. The rate of reaction can be increased by using catalyst. Catalyst forms bond with reactant molecules and weakens the bonds in reacting molecules. This increases the rate of reaction. Transition metal ions can change their oxidation status. So they are more effective as catalysts. The next general transition properties alloy formations. Here the transition metals are it is able to form the alloys. So before going to the topic, 
first you will see about what of the alloys alloy is nothing but a mixture of metal and metal alloys a mixture of metal and non metal that is called as alloys so here talking mixture the mixture contains a two portions one is the bulk portions next one is called as a smaller portion the bulk portion is called as solvent the smallest portion is called as a solute so the alloy formation it can explain explained by the one rule the rule is called as a hume ruthey rule is there so according to according to the rule the atomic area of the solvent and the solute is less than 15 percent each then the both solvent and the solute that must have the same crystal structures then the electronegative difference between the solute and solvent must be close to zero if it is so be these three rules that car that Complex that element it has easily formed the alloys is there. So the transition metals that are satisfying the the above conditions. So that's why these elements are it has to form easily the alloys. So we have the so many uh, examples here. I give the some of them. One is ferrous alloys. Next is the gold and the copper alloys. Third is called as the chrome alloys. So you can see stainless steel. Brass, bronze, excess is going on. So this alloy formation is nothing but the tensile elements are easily formed the alloys. So it can explain by the the Hun Rutre rules is there. So that's all about the alloy formation of transition metals or transition elements. Alloy formation. An alloy is a blend of metals prepared by mixing components alloy may be homogeneous solid solutions in which the atoms of one are distributed randomly among the atoms of the other because of the similar radii and the other characteristics of transition metals alloys are readily formed by transition metals for example stainless steel stainless steel is an alloy of metals chromium nickel and iron